this video I will be covering the previous year gate questions from the chapter fins and unsteady heat transfers but before I proceed to that chapter I guess there was a question uh, left from the radiation chapter which I think I didn't cover in the video number four so uh, before moving on to fins and unsteady heat transfer uh, let's cover this question a 0.2 meter thick infinite black plate having a thermal conductivity of 3.96 watt per meter Kelvin is exposed to two infinite black surfaces the temperatures of uh, the surfaces are given as 300 Kelvin and 400 Kelvin uh, at steady state okay at steady state the surface temperature of the f of the plate of the plate facing the cold side is 350 Kelvin okay so this surface is 350 Kelvin value of Stephen Boltzmann's constant is given assuming 1d heat conduction the magnitude of heat flux through the plate in watt per meter square in watt per meter square okay so the question states that at steady state this is an important word okay so can I say that at steady state the heat transfer from all the parts is equal like whatever heat is being transferred here will be transferred through this plate and will be transferred through this space at steady state so this was the keyword okay so the question has asked the magnitude of heat flux through the plate so if I find the magnitude of heat flux from this space from this space can I say that this heat flux will be equal to to whatever heat transfer rate is taking place through this plate okay so Q is equal to Sigma T1 raised to the power 4 minus T2 raised to the power 4 as it is vacuum so heat transfer will be taking place only by radiation this is watt per meter square heat flux now putting the values 5.67 into 10 to the power minus 8 T1 what is T1? T1 is 350 raised to the power 4 this side temperature let me rub it this side temperature is 350 this one and this black surface temperature is 300 Kelvin so 350 minus 300 raised to the power 4 watt per meter square solve it the answer will be 391.58 watt per meter square this is the answer so this was the keyword okay yeah let's move on to unsteady state uh, heat transfer and fence a steel ball of 10 mm diameter at 1000 Kelvin at 1000 Kelvin this is is this is its initial temperature is required to be cooled to 350 Kelvin this is the required temperature let this be T this be T naught diameter is okay this is diameter okay be careful this is diameter not radius by immersing it in a water environment at 300 Kelvin this is T infinity okay the convective heat transfer coefficient H is given as 1000 watt per meter square 1000 watt per meter square Kelvin thermal conductivity is also given as 40 watt per meter Kelvin time constant tau is 16 seconds time required in seconds to reach the final temperature this is that is the required temperature okay whenever you read this question what comes to your mind transient heat conduction problem and whenever you think of transient heat conduction what comes to your mind lumped system analysis but for lumped system analysis we have to check whether Biot number is less than 0.1 okay if it is less than 0.1 we will be able to apply lumped system analysis and if it is greater than 0.1 we cannot apply the lumped system analysis then okay so let's check Biot number Biot number is H L C by K okay H is 1000 LC what is LC for a steel ball for sphere 
what is LC? LC is R by 3 that is why I have marked that it is diameter diameter is given so R will be 5 mm that is 0 0.005 by 3 okay so I'm directly putting here 0 0.005 by 3 upon K what is K? K is 40 whenever you solve this it comes out to be 0 0.04167 and I think yeah this is less than 0.1 okay so that means we can apply lumped system analysis okay and according to lumped system analysis you must have read this formula T minus T infinity upon T naught minus t infinity is equal to e raised to the power minus h a by rho v c t t is time h is a convective heat transfer coefficient v by a v by a is lc characteristic length which i have shown you here okay c is specific heat capacity and rho is the density however we also know that rho v c by h a is time constant tau and that has been given as 16 seconds time constant okay so now putting the values what is the required temperature it is 350 the ambient temperature is 300 T infinity what was the initial temperature of the ball 1000 Kelvin and the ambient temperature is 300 e raised to the power minus HA by rho VC okay so the reversed of this is time constant which is minus t by 16 okay solve this you will get t is equal to 42.224 seconds this is the answer direct formula based question but you have to check whether you can apply that formula or not that is whether you can apply lumped system analysis or not okay next question okay so in this question we have been given a cylindrical steel rod okay diameter again diameter is given as 0 0.01 meter and its length is also given is first heated to 750 degrees Celsius so it's temperature T naught is 750 degrees Celsius and then immersed in a water bath so that implies it will uh, start cooling down this is T infinity okay the heat transfer coefficient is given the density specific heat and thermal conductivity are given so instead of giving time constant now they have given the individual values of Rho C K everything okay the time required for the rod to reach 300 degrees Celsius so this is the temperature that is required let this be T and we have to again find time now what do you think this is a case of unsteady state heat transfer unsteady heat transfer so lumped system analysis come to your mind okay and for lumped system analysis you have to check Biot number Biot number is H L C by k h is given put the value of h that is 250 lc is v by a k is uh, what is k k is 43 watt per meter kelvin now finding lc for a cylinder okay if 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 you neglect the heat transfer from i mean if you neglect this this area and this area because the diameter is very small so if you neglect this and this area LC will directly be equal to R by 2 however for better calculation we will not neglect this area so V V is pi by 4 d square h upon 2 into pi by 4 d square yes plus pi dh so this will be LC that is V by total surface area okay put this value here LC if you solve LC LC will be 2.439 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter solve this Biot number will be equal to I guess it will be equal to 0 0.0141 and yes this value is less than 0 0.1 so again you can apply lumped system analysis okay what is the formula T minus T infinity 
upon di minus t infinity is equal to e raised to the power minus h a by rho v c t okay so this uh, let me write it clearly okay now t is 300 t infinity is 100 t i is 750 minus t infinity is again 100 e raised to the power minus h h is 250 250 uh, watt per meter square kelvin h by v v by a is lc so i'll directly put the value of lc in the denominator rho is 7801 v by a i am putting the value 2.439 into 10 to the power minus 3 into c c is 473 and here i will write time t okay which we have to find solve this equation with your calculator online calculator that you will be providing that you will be provided with t is equal to 42.43 seconds okay be careful about the units you have to put this in joule per kg Kelvin. okay be careful about the units so this is 42.43 seconds let's move on to the next question okay, this question is from uh, fins the heat loss from a fin is 6 watt Okay, effectiveness and efficiency of the fin are given as 3 and 0.75 uh, respectively. Heat loss from the fin keeping the entire fin surface at the base temperature. This line is important because this is a part of a definition of whether the effectiveness or efficiency this will decide. Okay, this is this line is the part of the definition so let me define effectiveness first okay effectiveness is heat transfer with fin with fin upon heat transfer without fin okay so this is effectiveness however efficiency is q actual that is actual heat loss from the fin upon Q maximum possible okay that is it is defined as the ratio between actual heat transfer rate taken place through the fin and the maximum possible heat transfer rate that can occur through the fin that is it is possible when the entire yes the entire fin surface is at the base temperature I told you that this line is this line forms a part of uh, the definition of uh, whether the effectiveness or efficiency that will be deciding so it forms a part of efficiency so we will be using the value of efficiency efficiency is 0 0.75 Q actual is given as 6 Q maximum possible that implies Q max is equal to 6 upon 0.75 that implies Q max is 8 the heat loss from the fin okay 8 watt because this is watt and you have to find the answer in watt be careful be careful while filling the units filling the answer be careful about the units next question again the question is from uh, yeah, unsteady heat transfer so a metal ball metal ball that is sphere LC is R by 3 R by 3 diameter is 60 mm so, so the radius will be 30 mm 0 0.03 upon 3 will be LC is initially at 220 degrees Celsius the ball is suddenly cooled okay so now let this be T naught suddenly cooled by an air jet of 20 degrees Celsius this will be T infinity heat transfer coefficient is given specific heat is given thermal conductivity is given and density is also given okay so time constant is not given however the individual values of specific heat K and Rho are given the ball temperature in degree Celsius after 90 seconds okay so this is the reversed of the problem which we have done earlier now T is given that is 90 seconds and we have to find temperature what will be the temperature after 90 seconds okay so what we'll do first we'll check byte number don't forget 
to check byte number okay byte number should be less than 0.1 for lumped system analysis okay for lumped system analysis what is byte number byte number is HLC by K H is 200 LC I'm uh, writing down the value and K is 400 this is C this is K this is K this is C this is rho okay so byte number is comes out to be 0 0.005 which is less than 0.1 okay, so now you can apply lump system analysis for which the equation is t minus t infinity upon t i minus t infinity is equal to e raised to the power minus h a by rho v c t okay putting the values t minus t infinity is 20 to 20 minus 20 is equal to e raised to the power minus h is 200 a by v is lc okay I'll be putting the value in the denominator directly t is 90 seconds seconds rho rho is 9000 v by a is 0 0.03 upon 3 I'll be taking that in the numerator into 400 is c okay solve this you will get temperature will be 141.30 degrees celsius after 90 seconds so it will be approximately 141 degrees celsius so with this i complete the gate previous year questions from 2014 to 2018 of the subject heat transfer thank you